We are coming to the end of the year and that means that very shortly we'll be celebrating the start of a new year. I thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to explain to you exactly how the British like to celebrate the start of a new year. Now, if you're not so confident in listening to English without subtitles, then I have provided subtitles for you. All you have to do is click the little CC button down below and those subtitles will come up on the screen. And while you're down there, if you're not already a subscriber, then make sure you press that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you don't miss any future lessons. And before we get this party started, I want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, the last sponsorship of the year, and that is italki. I'm sure you guys are already well aware of italki, but if you're not, they are an online language provider and they provide tuition in many languages, not just English. They have a huge database of native teachers from all over the world teaching all kinds of languages. So whatever you want to learn, I'm sure you'll find it on italki. Now, what I particularly like about italki is that their lessons are not just convenient, because they're online, but also that they're affordable. They are much cheaper than offline tutors at about 30% of the cost. And what makes it even better is that if you click on the link in the description box below, you'll get $10 credit when you make your first purchase, which pretty much means that once you make a purchase, you'll get a lesson for free. Yay! Oh, all right, I can hear the clocks ticking. It's time to talk about New Year's Eve. Now, in the UK, we celebrate the end of the year on the 31st of December. Come midnight, we say goodbye to the old year and hello to the new year. So our parties will happen on the evening of the 31st of December. As with any celebration, you're going to be in a party atmosphere and hopefully surrounded by people that you care about. But there are three, potentially four, features of a New Year's Eve party that makes it unique to any other celebration. The first is the countdown. So when we get to midnight, we do like to all shout out loud the last 10 seconds of the old year. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! Yay! At that point, the tradition is that you give a New Year's kiss and wish a Happy New Year to those people that you care about. And of course, if you're in a room full of friends and family, that means you've got a lot of hugging and kissing to do. Let's just hope that you don't have any cold sores. Then once all the smooching is done, it's time for a little sing song. And we like to sing the song Old Lang Syne. Now I say sing, most people in the UK don't actually know the words and so they tend to sing a couple of the lines that they do know and then mumble the rest of it. <laughs> but we enjoy doing it anyway. And while singing, we all hold hands together, but we cross our arms and do this with our hands. I don't really know why there is an origin story to this tradition, um, but I haven't found it out yet. And if you're one of those people who doesn't know the lyrics but wants to learn the lyrics, just like me, I have just done a video for you which is linked in the description box below so you can check that out in just a moment. Also at midnight, if it's a big organized event, you can almost guarantee that there will be fireworks. And I know in London, there is a huge firework display with lots of people lining up along the banks of the River Thames to watch the incredible fireworks going off along the London skyline. This is also televised, so if you don't fancy making your way into London, fighting with the busy crowds, then you can just watch it on your telly. Now, I grew up in the north of England, and I know in the north of England and in Scotland, we have a tradition called First Foot. And this basically is someone bringing in the new year. So you have to pick someone in your household to bring in the new year. They must leave the house before midnight and then they must be the first person through the door once midnight has struck. Now the tradition states that you have to be careful who you choose to bring in the new year. I think that if they're tall and dark haired then that is luckier than someone who is blonde haired for example. 
And so this tall, dark person will go out of the door and they'll wait until the new year has been announced and then they'll walk in and wish everyone a happy new year. And usually they should bring gifts. These gifts each will represent good fortune for the year ahead. So for example, they will bring a coin and that coin will represent financial prosperity in the new year. They might bring something to eat like bread and that bread will represent food and nourishment for the new year. As a little girl, I remember bringing in a lump of coal and the coal represented warmth. They might bring in some salt or some seasoning for flavor. And finally, they bring in a drink of something. So maybe a little bottle or a big bottle or a hip flask. And this represents good cheer and happiness. And then we dance, drink, eat, spend time with our friends, our family, or some people just go to bed. And that is the start of our new year. Is it any different in your country? I'd love to know. So please do let me know in the comments box below. Now, next year on this channel, there's going to be more of the same and lots of different things as well. I'm going to be very, very busy. I'm hoping that you will be involved in everything that goes on here next year. I'm very excited about the future. There are also some exciting things coming for those people who financially support this channel, my patrons. So patrons, hold on to your hats. 2018 is going to be a good one. I've got lots of rewards coming your way. Okay, guys. Until next time, have an incredible New Year's Eve. I look forward to seeing you next year. Take care and goodbye.